Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys in California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past. In order to understand the events that are currently have it on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, we're going to take a look here about these crazy preachers react to U.S. elections. Now, many of us know that a lot of these preachers already made their predictions or their prophecies about how it was just a foregone conclusion that Trump was going to win the election. Went through a couple of these videos and uh, there's a couple I want to kind of speak on and, and touch base with you guys and kind of share my thoughts and feelings and just how the Most High is going to expose them. He's exposing them with their own words. He's showing the world that he is not with them. They came out boldly claiming that Trump was going to win the election, that God wanted Trump to win the election in order to lead the nation forward or backwards, however you want to look at it. And um, we know that this just exposes their their um, religion, their white Jesus, because that's what they're talking about. They're praying to white Jesus for Trump to get elected, elected in order for the white supremacists to be able to again, come out boldly for what they believe. Make America Great Again was always about making America white and pro-white Jesus again. And this is how the Most High is going to pit each group, each faction against one another. Now you're already seeing how, you know, last week they had the whole uh, event at the Capitol. And then uh, Trump is, you know, pretty much has not taken responsibility for absolutely anything. It's always, what about the black people? What about the other people? Look at what they were doing in the summer. Look at what they were doing. So don't talk to me about what I'm doing when, you know, Black Lives Matter was out there and they were way worse than our people. I mean, and, that, and that's pretty much how they were going to say your people, you know, the Trump pro Trump people storming the U.S. Capitol, I guess, is, is not as bad as, you know, I don't know, going out protesting out in the streets. I mean, it, does, it doesn't matter. They're always trying to deflect from themselves. Even now, you know, when, that's, uh, when the, they stormed the Capitol, they're blaming Antifa. They're, oh, it wasn't us. It was people from Antifa that was doing that. Okay, you know, well, it, it wasn't our people. It was, you know, it was a other pro or whatever groups just to make us look bad. And now the guy with the um, walking away with the Nancy Pelosi's podium, I was looking at a, an interview he was doing with the lawyers. Dude has two great lawyers now. And they're just making excuses like, oh, well, this isn't stuff that he normally does. You know, he wasn't doing the things like the other people were. Um, he was just happened to be there. And it's like, you know, see, this is the total double standards. We got these laws that if you are, especially here in California, I'm sure they're all over the country because they're always trying to catch Jake up and everything. If you happen to be in a car and someone shoots and kills someone, everybody in the car gets the same punishment. How is this not any different at the Capitol? If you guys are all running up in there, aren't you guys all culpable? But see, now they're going to use the, well, it wasn't me. I wasn't the one that was doing that. I wasn't the rowdy one. Typical. And if the system was allowed to continue, they'd all get off with very little punishment. But you guys made the mistake of actually committing crimes now when you're now suffering, uh, suffering the curses. So how the justice system used to work for you before... It's not going to work for you now. Because now the Most High has taken the blessings off of you, which has allowed you to be able to do all these horrible things and never get, you know, and never have to pay for it. Except now you're in a time where payment is coming due. And that's what we're living in right now. Those are the things we're living in right now. You guys getting the curses, having to actually pay for your actions. Let's listen to a little bit here to what we're going to 
what's going to happen here in this video. And check this out. It's pretty hilarious. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. Media said what? <laughs> this is hilarious. Expose it all. Expose it all, Lord. Media said Joe Biden's president. Ha, 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 ha. Let there be that we would strike the ground for you will give us victory, God. Ha, 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 ha. And strike and strike and strike and strike. Ha, 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 ha. And strike until you have victory for every enemy that is aligned against you. Ha, 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 ha. Strike and strike and strike and strike and strike. Ha, 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 ha. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I ask, oh God, that you would take your iron rod and I ask that you would smash the clay jar of deceit in America. And Lord, if it be your will and if it be necessary, another election, another voting day, whatever it takes under your kingdom, oh God. Smash the delusion, Father, of Joe Biden as our president. He is not. The <laughs> These people, I said, are, are absolutely out of their mind. This illusion of Joe Biden being the president. Yeah, he's a president of your country. And it is like, well, we're just not going to accept it. That's, that's how they are. Just like, oh, a slavery and us having to pay. Oh, I'm not going to accept it. Same thing. Just shows you how absolutely delusional these people are. Shows you how delusional and how their spirits are just so out of line with reality. Now, I always ask, you know, I'm like, Who's going against what these people are saying? What other religious organizations are going against what they're saying? What other religious organizations are actually trying to um, explain the truth? You see, there are very many, very few. You don't hear the Catholic Church coming out here and trying to break things down. They don't say anything. Most of them all follow, like I said, the same patterns. So just because I was looking at Perry Stone, if I go to, you're going to see it here later on that all these organizations follow the same playbook. And you're going to hear some things that is going to sound just like the same things Perry Stone says. And these are the religious elites of this country. These are the ones that millions and millions and millions of people follow. The Lord says it is done. The Lord says it is done. Bring it all in line. Bring it all in line with the will of God. Why are you attacking the prophets, the, the, the intercessors, the Christians, the positive voices, no matter who they are, even on the me? So now they're prophets. They call themselves prophets and they're prophesying about how Trump is going to be the president. And now the most I expose them to be a bunch of liars. When their prophecies have not come true, what do they do? Do they try to actually say, you know what? I, my bad, I was wrong. No, they just double down and keep it moving. Let's continue. Media that are wanting to see Donald Trump reelected. Why are you attacking them? Could our faith be strong enough to pray for these two individuals? that are at the helm of uh, what appears to us to be a great pattern of deceit. You ought to be attacking the lying media. You ought to be attacking the liars that are wanting to strip our freedoms from this nation. And so they're all about freedoms, freedoms, freedoms. Not everyone got to enjoy those freedoms. They've been enjoying the freedoms because this has been their blessing. But now the Most High is taking their freedoms away and they're blaming the media. They're blaming Biden. How about you give credit to the Most High? The Most High is the one that is stripping you of your freedoms. He's the one that's taking away your freedoms that you've uh, pretty much enjoyed here on our land. So it's not Biden, it's not the media, it's the Most High that is stripping you 
from your freedoms. And just like he told us, I'm going to tell you. Just grin and bear it. Because, you know, this transition is not going to be stopped. So just take your beating, take your punishment, just like the Mosai told us to take ours. Certainly of ideology that is anti-Christ, anti-biblical to its core. And if you think... And that's the whole thing. You guys are being anti-Christ and anti-biblical because you're not even using the Bible to substantiate anything you're saying. Where in the Bible does it say that you guys get to prophesy who's going to be your leaders? The Most High says, I will raise up your leaders and I will take them down. The Most High rose up Trump for his four years so you guys could have your last hurrah of white supremacy. And now the Most High is taking him down and putting someone else up. That's biblical. That you don't get to pick, the Most High chooses. See, when Israel... The Most High raised up Saul. And then when he, you know, had pretty much come to his time being the t- being on top, the Most High anointed David to be the ruler. So you guys are giving yourselves way too much credit. But let's go. He's speaking in favor of the one that CNN celebrates. If you think he's speaking in alignment with the wicked of this world, if that's where you think God's voice is, then you don't know it. Now, see, anyone that goes against what they're saying is wicked. Hey, I got something for you guys. You're all wicked. You don't get to be righteous just because you say you're you're a Christian or you're an evangelical. That doesn't make you not wicked. You're wicked, too. Because you're not, you're not, you're ignoring the Most High. You're ignoring his people. You're ignoring the history of your country. You're ignoring the history of what you've done to the Most High's chosen people. So that makes you wicked. I'm going to listen to this guy. I want to make sure you guys get all of this. That's where you think God's voice is, then you don't know it. Let me tell you something. Every Christian, every pastor out there that voted for Joe Biden... Last night, you have bought a curse upon yourself and your family, your children, and your children's children down to the third and fourth generation. And- I didn't. That, I didn't think you guys believed in curses. I thought you were pretty much just uh, if, you, if you didn't do it, you had you have no, if you didn't do anything with it, like if you had nothing to do with slavery, you don't have to worry about that. You didn't believe. I thought you guys didn't believe in generational curses. But see, for the election's sake. They believe in generational curses. If you went and made that vote for Joe Biden, you brought a generational curse on yourself. But if you voted for Trump, for sure, you don't have a generational curse on you. All the racist stuff that he and his people, and I'm not talking about right now, I'm talking about through the centuries, have been doing. You don't think that's going to bring a generational curse on you as a people? You see the hypocrisy. They'll use scripture when it's convenient for them. There are generational curses. We are the example of that. All you got to do is look at that example. You need to repent. We release and and commission and dispatch the angels into that place in Pennsylvania Mm -hmm. and in Michigan. Lord, these guys are talking about dispatching angels in a certain area. Like they have that kind of power. I mean, just trying to dispatch some demons, maybe. In all these states that, that have yet to be called, Father, that they would not uh, purposefully be delayed for the purpose of fraud. We humble ourselves tonight, Lord God. We ask. Make sure you listen to this guy right here, okay? Ask you in Jesus' name, Father, that you'd forgive us. As a people, they're coming here. No, he's not. He's not going to forgive you as a people. This is not more time. See now that now you know they're talking about forgiveness. But what do you guys want forgiveness for? What is it you guys are asking for forgiveness for? So you're not being specific. Are you talking about just you know how recently you ran down the country? 
Or how about, uh, you know, how you are you going to talk about how you've uh, destroyed the most highest chosen people? See, that's what you guys should be on your knees for. That's what the most highs talked about, shedding the innocent blood of the most highs chosen people. So if you're going to start getting on your knees and praying, start praying the truth. So your power is exhibiting the fact that he has no power. You guys thought that white Jesus was going to bring you white Donald Trump in order for you to push white supremacy for another four years and just ignore all the things that you guys do, just like you guys ran into the Capitol building, did your dirt, had your fun, made your point, and now all of a sudden when now the FBI or whoever was the CIA, whoever was looking for you guys, the police, now it's like, oh, well, it wasn't me. I, I wasn't I wasn't the one that was, you know, going in and pushing the doors. I would I just happened to walk away with stuff. I happen to just, you know, just be out there just following the crowd. Following the crowd will get you messed up. That's how it's been for us. Why see you want with more Donald Trump so you can do things like that and those re, no repercussions. That's what white supremacist society, that's what the blessings has allowed you to do. To be able to run with that Proverbs 11 and 1 and the unjust weights. But now the Most High is going to make you, you know, culpable for the things that you do. And you're going to have to pay for it. And that's where the problem is now. And if he uses Biden and his group to fight, to fight with the Republicans, then, that, then you know, in their group, then, that, then that's what the Most High is going to do. You can see how the setup's already going. You can see how the Most High is already setting this up for them to go right at each other's throats. Now listen quietly. You know, we're listening intently right now, okay, to this part. We humble ourselves tonight, Lord God. We ask you in Jesus' name, Father, that you'd forgive us. As a people... They're coming here. They're coming here. In the name of Jesus from South America. <laughs> Please. From Africa, from South America, angelic forces, angelic reinforcement. God, you are pro life. There we go. God, you are pro life. They, they got they gotta get that abortion thing in there somehow. They gotta get that in there somehow. He's pro life. Yep, he's pro Israelites also. He's pro Israel lives also. You don't get to pick and choose which lives the Most High deems is worthy and not worthy. The Most High could care less about the wicked. He equates them to spittle. So you don't get you guys don't get to act like you're all of a sudden not the wicked anymore. So because you guys you guys are playing a very dangerous game. You're ignoring the Most High's chosen people and making up the people you want to be the innocents. The Most High's told you who the innocent is. In Ezra, so I already talked about that. In 2nd Ezra 15, I'm going to say it's 21 and 22. He already told you that he who he's coming for. And, who he, and he's talking about his chosen people being the innocent. The innocent blood that has been shed. You don't get to pick it. So right here, you know, just say, oh, you're pro-life. I said, come on now. Show me that in the Bible. Show me where it says that anywhere. You only use that because you don't want to talk about the dirt you've been doing to us for the last few hundred years. That's the only reason you all of a sudden now your sides are so pro-life and pro-babies. Because when you got here, you killed our children. When our women were pregnant, you cut the babies out and stomped on their heads. So don't give me that all of a sudden now you guys are all pro-life. That, does, that doesn't work here. That's something that you can fly by people who don't read and study. But well, we got you, though. So like I said, here's your Perry Stone moment right here about being pro-life, like we said. Angelic forces, angelic reinforcement. God, you are pro-life. You be pro-life for us, Jesus. We've played when we should have been praying. We've played when we should have been praying. 
And that's so true. You guys have been all about playing, just having fun, and not, not praying to the real Most High. Not actually taking care of the Most High's chosen people. That has not been important to you. You've been too uh, concerned with playing, going out on the weekends, going to your football games, basketball games, baseball, travel teams. Everything's been way more important than following the ways of the Most High. You've been playing when you should have been praying. And even to this day, the things that have been going on as far as um, the Most High shutting down society and people still just trying their best to get out there and play still, still get out there and do their parties, do everything else, and just not be totally oblivious to what's going on, it's still happening today. So like we said, it's easy to see now. We can pick we can pick these apart anytime they want to talk. Anytime they want to say something, it's very easy to actually go to the scriptures and figure out what it is that's really being said. Okay? As opposed to how they want to break it down. And now, like I said, that was a huge uh mistake. Them trying to call uh the election for Trump and saying that God told him to and it was a prophecy. Because this exposes their lies even more. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge it, Shalom. 